Prepare to witness a celestial spectacle this month as a newfound comet graces our night skies. Comet Nishimura, absent from human gaze for over four centuries, is making a rare appearance. Intriguingly, the last time it danced through our skies, Galileo's groundbreaking telescope was still decades away from conception. And after this brief encounter, it will be another 400 years before our descendants get a chance to behold it again. Let's get the basics straight first. What is a comet? Ah, uh, the world of space, so vast, so mysterious, and brimming with phenomena that both baffle our minds and enthrall our imaginations. Among the countless celestial bodies, there's one that has a special place in the narrative of our universe and in the hearts of skygazers, the comet. Often drawing up images of fiery tails streaking across the night, comets are sometimes seen as harbingers of change, omens of significant events, or simply spectacular sights that offer moments of profound wonder. But what really is a comet? Is it just a glorified shooting star, or is there more to it? The essence of a comet, more than just a shiny object. Picture this. It's the coldest day you've ever experienced. So cold that even imagining water would conjure up images of ice. Now visualize crafting a snowball in this cold, but instead of the pure white snow, this one's sprinkled with bits of dirt, grit, some old rocky fragments, and even ancient remnants from times gone by. Essentially, you're holding a mini model of a comet right there in your hands. Comets, in their purest essence, are a mixture of ice and rock. But these aren't just arbitrary rocks or any form of typical ice. This is primeval material, remnants from the birth of our solar system. When we talk about comets, we're delving deep into the history of our universe. These cosmic bodies have been drifting through space, potentially for billions of years, preserving within them tales older than any living creature on our planet. Where do they come from? Let's embark on a brief journey, tracing back to where these intriguing cosmic travelers originated. The outer reaches of our solar system, beyond the planets, is home to a vast expanse of space populated by countless icy objects. This region, known as the Kuiper Belt and the Farther Oort Cloud, is like the storage room of our solar system. It's in these frigid zones, far from the sun's warmth, that comets are believed to be born. The core and the glow, two main components. When gazing at a comet, two distinct parts usually catch the observer's eye, the nucleus and the coma. The nucleus, the central core of a comet, is the dirty snowball we've been referencing. This is where most of its mass resides. It's the heart of the comet carrying the age-old tales of our universe and is often rugged, irregular, and dark due to the accumulated cosmic dirt and dust. Surrounding the nucleus is the coma, a sort of hazy cloud enveloping the core. As the comet journeys closer to the sun, the heat causes the ices within the nucleus to vaporize, releasing gas and dust. This forms a glowing envelope around the nucleus known as the coma, which, illuminated by the sun, gives the comet its distinctive bright appearance. Tales that tell tales. One of the most captivating features of a comet, especially when it's near the sun, is its tail. Contrary to popular belief, comets don't have just one, but usually two tails. The first, the dust tail, is white and broad, and it's made up of, you guessed it, dust particles that have been blown away from the comet by the sun's radiation. This tail reflects sunlight, giving it its brilliant glow. Then there's the ion tail, which is narrower and often blue. This tail is formed when the sun's ultraviolet light ionizes the gases coming off the comet creating a glowing plasma tail that points directly away from the sun. Cosmic Significance Understanding the anatomy of a comet isn't just an academic endeavor or a means to satiate our cosmic curiosity. These celestial bodies have played significant roles throughout history. Many ancient civilizations have looked up and seen these glowing entities as omens or divine messengers. In science, they are considered as time capsules, holding secrets to our solar system's formation and evolution. In essence, every time we witness a comet, we're not just seeing a beautiful astral phenomenon, we're getting a first-hand look at a relic from the dawn of our universe, a floating compendium of cosmic history, and a testament to the grandeur and mystery of the space we inhabit. So the next time you cast your eyes skyward and catch a glimpse of that ethereal glow, remember the complex, fascinating anatomy of these celestial wonders, and take a moment to marvel at the incredible universe we're a part of. Will the comet Nishimura be visible? There's a tangible buzz in the world of astronomy. 
a mounting excitement that reminds us just how much the universe still has in store for us. The name on everyone's lips? Comet Nishimura. The big question reverberating across space forums, observatories, and even casual stargazing groups is, will we, the denizens of Earth, be granted a front row seat to this cosmic spectacle? An unexpected visitor. It's not every day that a celestial body gets so much attention, but Comet Nishimura is no ordinary celestial wanderer. Discovered unexpectedly by an astronomer in Japan, its emergence on the cosmic stage took many by surprise. But what makes this comet so special? It's been over 400 years since Comet Nishimura last danced through our skies. Imagine, the last time this comet whizzed past Earth, telescopes as we know them were just on the cusp of invention, and Galileo's revelations were just around the corner. The Journey to Visibility Now, when we talk about visibility, it's not just about whether an object is present in the sky or not. It's about how brightly it shines, its position relative to Earth and the Sun, and the conditions that enhance or hamper its viewing. According to NASA, as Comet Nishimura continues its helical descent towards our fiery Sun, there's an increasing possibility that it might grace our naked eyes with its presence in the early days of September. But why is its proximity to the Sun so important? Well, as comets get closer to the Sun, they heat up. This heat causes the icy nucleus to release gas and dust, forming a glowing coma around it. Essentially, the closer they are to the Sun, the brighter they often appear, enhancing our chances of seeing them. An uncertain fate, comets rendezvous with the Sun. There's a catch, though. Comets and the Sun have a bittersweet relationship. The Sun illuminates them, but it can also lead to their undoing. On September 17th, as reports suggest, Comet Nishimura will come daringly close to the Sun. There's a possibility, as with many comets, that this close encounter might lead to the comet breaking up due to the Sun's intense heat and gravitational pull. However, Paul Chodas, the manager of NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, brings a ray of hope. He believes that this comet, having withstood the test of time and space for so long, will likely survive its fiery passage past the Sun. Best Times and Tips for Viewing Here's where things get even more interesting for all the stargazers out there. Given the comet's trajectory and its approach angle towards the sun, it's going to be most visible near sunrise or sunset. These are moments when the sky is dimly lit, neither too bright to drown out the comet's glow, nor too dark to make it indistinguishable from stars. But remember, just as with many things in life, when it comes to space, there's no guarantee. The comet might be faint, a whisper of light against the vast cosmic canvas. This means while it might be visible to the naked eye, your best bet would be to have a telescope or a pair of binoculars handy. About 90 minutes before sunrise, cast your gaze towards the northeastern horizon, specifically near the constellation Leo. Here, if the universe wills, you might witness the ephemeral beauty of Comet Nishimura. As Paul Chodas aptly puts it, so you really need a good pair of binoculars to pick it out, and you also need to know where to look. And as days progress and it inches closer to the sun, spotting the comet might become a tad more challenging, making every moment of viewing even more precious. In conclusion, a cosmic ballet. Comets like Nishimura remind us of the ever-changing dynamic nature of our universe. They are not just astronomical events, they are spectacles, performances of the cosmos that bridge the past, present, and future. So, whether you're an avid astronomer, a casual sky watcher, or someone who just loves to marvel at the wonders of the universe, the potential appearance of Comet Nishimura is a call to look up, to hope, and to be reminded of the vast, intricate ballet of the cosmos in which we all have a tiny yet significant part. When was Comet Nishimura discovered? In the boundless theater of the cosmos, every now and then, a new star, or rather a comet, rises. These are not merely astronomical occurrences, but stories of discovery, dedication, and often serendipity. Such is the tale of Comet Nishimura's discovery, a testament to the vigilant eyes of both professional astronomers and passionate hobbyists. An ordinary night with an extraordinary find. On the clear night of August 11th, while many of us were tucked into our beds or lost in our routines, Hideo Nishimura embarked on his routine stargazing expedition. Armed with just his digital camera and the passion for the stars, he aimed to capture the night's celestial beauty in 30-second exposures. 
But what he captured was not just another star or the shimmer of a distant galaxy. It was the faint trail of a comet, cleverly veiled amidst the sun's flare. Against the tapestry of the infinite universe, this streak might have seemed insignificant to an untrained eye, but not for Nishimura. The Journey of Validation Identifying and confirming the presence of a comet is no simple task. The sky is vast, filled with twinkling stars, distant galaxies, and passing asteroids. Differentiating between these and a potential comet requires keen observation and expertise. Yet, Nishimura's find was so compelling that it quickly drew the attention of the global astronomical community. Days after his discovery, the International Astronomical Union, IAU, the renowned organization responsible for designating celestial bodies, stepped in. Their verdict? The streak of light, the potential comet that Nishimura had chanced upon, was indeed a new discovery. The comet was then traditionally named after its discoverer, marking its place in astronomical history as C2023 P1 Nishimura. The rarity of such a discovery. In today's age, when powerful telescopes scan every inch of the sky, and when algorithms can predict and track most celestial movements, one might think that discoveries by individual observers are a thing of the past. But Nishimura's find challenges this notion. The Associated Press remarked on the uniqueness of this event, pointing out the sheer rarity of such a discovery, given the number of professional sky surveys done by advanced ground telescopes. This wasn't Nishimura's first rodeo. Incredibly, C2023 P1. Nishimura was his third find, making the feat even more commendable. Paul Chodas, a respected figure from NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, couldn't help but express admiration. This is his third find, so good for him, he exclaimed. Such recognition from esteemed professionals speaks volumes about the significance of Nishimura's discovery. An emblem of hope and wonder. The Tale of Comet. Nishimura's discovery is not just about one comet or one individual. It's an emblem of hope for every stargazer, every child looking up at the night sky with wonder, and every amateur astronomer with a telescope on their balcony. It's a reminder that the universe, with all its vastness, still holds secrets ready to be unveiled, not just by high-end equipment, but by passion, patience, and a keen eye. As Comet Nishimura prepares to make its grand appearance in our skies, its story of discovery will continue to inspire and remind us that amidst the vast cosmos, there's always something waiting to be found, waiting to tell its story. How do I watch Comet Nishimura? In the midst of our daily hustle, the universe presents us with spectacular reminders of its beauty. One such marvel, Comet Nishimura, is about to grace our skies. But how does one behold this celestial event and ensure they don't miss this rare occurrence? Let's keep it to four simple steps. 1. Prime Time Viewing When it comes to watching comets, timing is crucial. As Comet Nishimura meanders its way closer to our planet, the chances of spotting it with the naked eye become increasingly plausible. The prime window is anticipated in mid-September. However, a heads up, as the comet ventures closer to the sun, its visibility diminishes. Thus, catching it early on in its journey is your best bet. There are two, tools of the trade. While the chances are good that Comet Nishimura will be visible to the unaided eye, if you want to truly appreciate its ethereal beauty, some basic tools can enhance the experience. The comet, being faint, is best observed through a telescope or at the very least a decent pair of binoculars. Such instruments not only magnify the comet, but also help in accentuating its features, like its glowing nucleus and trailing tail. 3. Picking the perfect spot. Your location plays a pivotal role in your stargazing experience. For the best view of Comet Nishimura, it's advisable to rise early and focus your attention towards the northeastern horizon, but don't crane your neck too high. The comet is expected to be less than 10 degrees above the horizon, nestled near the constellation Leo. The vantage point might change as days progress, so staying updated with astronomical forecasts can be advantageous. 4. Overcoming Challenges Comets, despite their luminosity, can be tricky to spot. As Paul Chodas from NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies puts it, so you really need a good pair of binoculars to pick it out, and you also need to know where to look. Moreover, as the days pass, the comet will not only move closer to the sun, but also drop closer to the horizon, 
making its observation slightly more challenging. But fret not, with a little patience and persistence, the rewards are bound to be stellar. In conclusion, the dance of celestial bodies offers a unique blend of science, beauty, and wonder. Comet Nishimura's Pass by Earth is not just an astronomical event, but a cosmic spectacle, a gentle reminder of the universe's grandeur. So arm yourself with knowledge, gear up with the right tools, and let the skies unveil their magic. In conclusion, folks, this is one of those rare celestial events that combine history, science, and sheer wonder. A comet that last passed Earth before even the invention of the telescope is returning for a brief but magnificent appearance. So gear up, set your alarms, and get ready for a once-in-a-lifetime sky-gazing event. If you found this video informative and exciting, don't forget to hit that like button, share with fellow stargazers, and, of course, subscribe for more celestial updates. Clear skies and happy watching.